I'm Hannah and I'm chatting with Mohammed, who's from Huawei. So thank you for inviting me to this mini city. I feel like I've stepped into the future. Well, thank you and welcome to our booth. Well, actually, I'm not sure if it's a booth. It may be a, a small city, maybe. Exactly. I, I think it's a bit bigger than a booth, isn't well, thank it? Thank you for coming and joining <laughs> us here. Thank you for having us. Now, first of all, tell me then, what does Huawei do? Uh, very simple. We are bringing digital to each person, to each organization, to each industry, to each home, so that we have a wholly, fully connected, intelligent world. When we bring in that digital aspect, we make sure we bring it instantly, we bring it profitably, we bring it efficiently, effectively, so that everybody can enjoy better business for carriers, better life for you and me, and better future for countries. Fantastic. So you mentioned efficiency, but what are you doing to work towards energy efficiency? You will see that we bring energy efficiency from three aspects. Right. From network perspective yep. and from site perspective and even down to the component perspective. Mm. From network perspective, for example, if you are having a mobile network, many bands. Yep. So we make sure that we synergize those bands together so that we can bring the energy cost down. From site perspective, we synergize all of the resources for energy. You know, you have solar cell, you have uh, uh, battery, you have uh, uh, electrical uh, energy. So how to synergize those to get the most efficiency up? Even from component perspective, you look at the rectifier, we, where we have technologies that bring the uh, energy efficiency up to 98%, for example. Wow. So yeah, so those are needed. Those are needed, trust me, for all markets, not just for emerging markets, even emerging markets, developed markets, everybody's talking about the cost. And what about mobile operators? What's your relationship and your partnerships like with them? This is our main success factor because we think that the innovation we're getting, we're getting it actually out of the, our operator's concern and we take that really seriously when we develop our stuff. Fantastic. Now, what sets you apart from other providers? What makes you different from anyone else? We really focus on our customer and we take the idea of our innovations from our customer and we also believe that right now we cannot do the success alone. So we have more than 200 partners here in our show. It's not just about Huawei. So we bring those partners together, um, again, to facilitate new business environment, to have a scale, which is also one of our competitive advantage. We're bringing the scale to the industry, and, um, and also we make sure that the business model is really good. Uh, I couldn't finish without mentioning our exciting news this year is about 5G. So this year, actually, we are so excited to bring to 5G industry the first end-to-end -end commercial 5G product, CPE, which is the Consumer Premise Equipment Access Core Transport. It's already for operators to try, to explore, and to get value out of it. At the moment in the mobile industry, there are so many changes, there's lots of challenges. So what are you coming up against that is a challenge? How are you trying to overcome this? That's really a great question. And you know why we is so big, we're serving the whole world. So each market has its own challenges. So if we really break down the mobility business fundamentals into four aspects, I would say the supply side and the demand side. These are two major things. Yeah. From the finance, uh, f f economics of the mobility business itself, we have revenue and cost. So those four, you go to different area, you will find that the operator has different aspects. For example, for the developed market, their pain points is they want to expand their capacity, the supply. They want the supply to be evolved. They want the experience to be better because the traffic is high. Mm. So we have the solution that we provide to them in order to enhance this. For example, talking about massive MIMO multi input, multi output, for example, using aggregation of the spectrum. This is kind of developed market. Now, going to emerging markets, which is one of our major focus this year, we have, we really need three different gaps. The first gap is the access gap. We have more than 4 billion users not really connected to the internet. I know it's it's a shame, but we were working on it. Wow. And we have also coverage gap. There are people that do not have, they are not covered with mobile access. But also we have a demand gap because there are areas of the world that are covered by the network, but they do not know how to use the network. They cannot really, they don't see a value for using it. It may be terminal is expensive, 
product maybe, um, uh, uh, the literacy, the, the, they are not knowledgeable, uh, they don't find the value. Maybe the operators, they are not offering convenient service for them. So we work also for those operators in emerging markets on how to provide a successful business in terms of the economics of the business itself, how to economize the whole process end to end, uh, lower the TCO, enhancing the revenue, getting more value. So those are kind of two issues in developed and emerging markets. Okay, thank you so much. Well, thank you. And uh, congratulations on this fantastic well, thank looking you so booth. Much and let's all enjoy the success of the whole industry.